Televised debates have been a fixture of U.S. presidential elections since 1960. But on Tuesday evening in Philadelphia, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris will break new ground because never before has one of the parties changed candidate between the meetings. For the first of this year's debates, Joe Biden was still the Democratic candidate, but a faltering performance led to him dropping out and his vice president, Kamala Harris, taking his place. Donald Trump will be up against a third opponent, having previously faced off against Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden ahead of the votes in 2016 and 2020. And the stakes could not be higher, with most polls suggesting the race is too close to call. We can cross live now to New York and speak to CBS correspondent Carissa Lawson. Carissa, hello to you. And yes, let's begin with those polls. A day out from debate. The debate, give us a little bit more detail on how they're looking. Well, Anita, the two latest polls of likely voters were just released on Sunday. Those polls show that former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris are just about even. It really demonstrates just how close the 2024 U.S. presidential race has become, with less than two months left before the November 5th election. In the latest New York Times Siena College poll, Trump leads Harris 48 to 47 percent. A CBS News YouGov poll looked at some of the key battleground states. In Michigan, it shows Harris leading Trump by 50 to 49 percent. In Pennsylvania, it's a dead heat at 50-50. And in Wisconsin, Harris leads Trump 51 to 49 percent. So you can see just how close this race is. Yeah, really, really tight, all within margins of error. So uh, a lot riding on this debate. There's been a lot of discussion, hasn't there, uh, Carissa, about the ground rules for the debate. So what do we know about the final preparations the two candidates are making? Well, here's what we know. Vice President Kamala Harris has been preparing for this debate by holding mock debates with a Trump-like substitute, complete with television lighting and would-be moderators asking her very pointed questions. Former President Donald Trump, on the other hand, has been engaging in policy briefings with his aides, but has not opted for any mock debates at all. Both candidates definitely taking different approaches to this high-stakes debate that millions of likely U.S. voters will be watching. Now, voters have said they want to know more about how each candidate will tackle things that are most uh, important to them, like the economy and immigration. Meanwhile, some things to note about the debate, it will be 90 minutes long. It will not have a live audience, but it will have muted microphones when the other candidate is speaking, something Trump's campaign wanted, Harris's campaign did not. Harris's campaign said it will prevent Trump from having face-to-face -face conversations with her, but Trump's campaign says they accepted the debate under the exact same terms as the first debate against President Biden when he was the nominee. It promises to be a very, very interesting watch indeed. Uh, Carissa, thank you very much. CBS correspondent Carissa Lawson there in New York. And let me just tell you a little bit more, because here on BBC News, you will be able to watch rolling coverage of the ABC News presidential debate, simulcast between Democrat and Republican candidates, uh, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. The news coverage will start from 8 p.m. East Coast time on Tuesday. That's 1 a.m. if you're in the U.K., and the actual debate will begin an hour later.